Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT John. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, uh, the Barbie movie is probably already out. J- J- Jonas's vacation week. I will tell you how it is because I'll go and see it day one. I'll probably go watch it too because I got the movie pass. Gotta. Um, it's free. I, I saw an article mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that the movie that movie needed so much pink paint it caused an international shortage on pink paint what does that even mean like because i guess in the movie like <laughs> everything is exactly? pink so they got yeah. to the point where they were like or they ordered so much paint to like paint everything pink for the movie set How? that like there was like a shortage of pink paint internationally that's crazy yeah i didn't read the article to find out exactly what it was but i'm like i could see that I have to say is that this Barbie movie is kind of a, uh, it's kind of hitting me like I, I felt with Mario where it's like Barbie ain't really drawing me, but it looks kind of, in, it's kind of like a car crash, I guess. It's it's the Titan submarine. It's like, I, I know it's horrible, but I, I just want to see what happens. I mean, I can leave because I'm not going to pay to watch it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I do like what's the girl's name, Marco Robbie. Oh Margo? yeah, I like her a lot too. Yeah, I like Margot Robbie. She was uh, what other movies? Harley were Quinn. She, in? she was Harley. Har- she was Harley Quinn in the uh, DC. She was the uh, love interest in Wolf of Wall Street. She was the love interest in Wolf of Wall Street, which was the role that a lot of people say skyrocketed to where she is right now. And then you got Ryan Gosling. What was oh, he? Oh, the in? Notebook. He was in the Notebook, which is like one of the most well-known, most beloved female chick movies I've ever. And then uh, not he was watched. also at the. I think it's like called The Place Behind the Pines or something like that. It's like a little-known movie. Okay, pretty good okay. movie. It was a pretty good. Yeah, it actually is. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's like he was like he's like a bank robber, and like he ends up like, I don't remember if it's like. People don't know he was the one that was robbing banks because he was like he was hidden or whatever. Yeah. And he's like he's like he's like this rough around the edges guy, and he's got a girlfriend and like a kid, and he's like doing it for them. But like you know, things end up happening, and he's like robbing banks or something. Well, who's the guy who plays Deadpool? Real quick. Oh, uh, he's a Amityville horror guy, shirtless guy. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Yes, yes. I yes. always get Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds mixed up. I cannot. Who's hotter? <laughs> Reynolds. <laughs> I have to go. Reynolds is way hotter, dude. And I hope he sees this, dude. I would <laughs> Hit me this, up, Reynolds. <laughs> I would definitely make this a short so he knows. Um, <laughs> Tag him on all of his socials. But yeah, I don't know. Ryan Gosling, look, it seems like he'd be good in the role. Apparently, he was receiving like uh, some criticism that he didn't look young enough to play Ken. I mean, he's not young anymore. I know, but it, his his argument was like, nobody cared how old Ken was before I was in the role. Now people are like, he's too old to play Ken. They need to get somebody like, who's that guy who, uh, he he just plays like the, the hot young guy and everything. He uh, God, what's Tom this? Holland? No, not him. Uh, he was in um, the Baywatch movie. Uh, oh, wow. He was in, uh, he was, God damn it, what's the guy's name? Um, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know any hot guys. I don't keep hot guys subreddits. Hot guy Rolodex. <laughs> My hot guy Rolodex is looking real <laughs> really thin, right thin now. lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all, I haven't filled it up with new new bios. Yeah. I have not seen any guy hot enough to make the list for me. I'm yeah. afraid. <laughs> uh, I never met one. Uh, I'll find his name. I don't know if I find any guy hot enough to make my hot guy Rolodex. Make my hot guy Rolodex. But yeah, I don't know. It looks like it'll be Zach Efron. Zach. Efron. Okay, yeah, yeah. I should have known you were talking about. Or honestly, I was thinking you were talking about one of the guys from uh, One Direction or something. No, no. But Zach Efron's getting old too, so I guess like yeah, he is getting old. Yeah, he he's not the young guy anymore. No. He's like he's in his thirties, he's in his mid thirties. Oh yeah, he, he ain't the young guy at all anymore. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't. Know. It looks like morbid curiosity is drawing me out there more than anything. Uh, did you ever go and see the Boogeyman movie? I did not. No. That that was that was an interesting movie. Um, I, I, I you say, said it was only worth seeing for free. It is definitely worth seeing for free. Um, if not, I would say wait till it gets to Netflix. Uh, Flash movie, we, not worth uh, seeing for free. You did not see that. I saw the Flash movie. Um, apparently, it had it was a big flop. It sold less than Black Adam. Black Adam was not bad, which I thought. And this is. That is where Flash sits for me. Flash sits where uh, where I would say even a little bit better 
than Black Adam for me, but not as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. 3 Dude, like I all. don't even like superhero movies, and we went and watched Black Adam, and I was like, oh, that wasn't bad. It, it, and everyone was like, trash. And I was like, what the hell? I had a good time. I thought it was okay. I was like, oh, that's yeah, okay. Like, I'll never movie. watch it again, but I wasn't mad that I went and saw it, man. Yeah. Like when I went and saw the Justice League, I was bored. Okay, well, yeah, that one was the one with Steppenwolf. Yeah, that one was kind of boring. Yeah, but like that's how I feel sometimes in superhero movies, especially the DC yeah. ones. Hot take. I, I mean, that is true. The and Marvel DC, ones are at least entertaining. And I think it's I, honestly, I feel like it's a travesty that Flash flops so bad because I went to Flash and I had a good time. I had just about, if not more, of a good time than I had with Black Adam. Black Adam was entertaining to me, even though it had some shitty parts. I admit the kids' voice in some parts were like, there's like the, the denizens of evil rising from the ground the, the people of the city are just like fighting them. I'm like, what the fuck is... Yeah, there were some dumb parts. There were some dumb parts to Shazam. I had a good time with I mean, that too. the whole there's, movie's probably dumb for no, some No, there's some good... I had a good time in all these movies. Now, I've admitted in the past that I have bad taste, all right? I have admitted. <laughs> <laughs> so I admit that I have bad taste. And maybe these movies were created for people with equally as bad of taste as mine. But if you feel like you have bad taste, I say go see Boogeyman, which is mediocre. And mediocre is not bad. Mediocre is middle of the road, passable. It's a C plus. C's get degrees in my book. So mediocre movies, yes. Boogeyman, Flash, mediocre, but you will have a good time. Uh, and, uh, the, the Shazam movie, mediocre, but you will have a good time. Okay. And I say the same thing for the uh, the Rock superhero movie that we saw as Black, well. Adam. Black Adam. Yes, mediocre. Like you couldn't remember the name. I you could not. It, the it was a lot. It was a lot, dude. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but mediocre, but you'll have a good time. All right. No, I mean, and that's how I feel about the Barbie movie. Is like. If I don't have a good time, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, exactly. Now, and now we did see Spider Verse. Oh, well. That was a great movie. We already talked about yeah. that, though. Did we? Did we have a whole episode about? I'm probably we probably did. I, I don't, don't remember know. anything remember. we talk about ever. So, cool. but that one amazing. One of oh, the yeah. best movies I've ever seen. I recommend that we, one highly. And I'm gonna. This isn't a spoiler. The only reason I'm giving it 99 out of 100 is that they did not tell you it was a to-be-continued movie. Oh, yeah. Well, like, that is, yeah. I think, like, if they would have said part one, yeah. and I went in knowing that, yeah. knowing that, 100 out of 100. But then a lot of people are just like, well, I'll just wait for both of them to come out, so I don't have to wait. But you know but what? But then I don't want to watch six hours of a movie. <laughs> yeah, right? Great movie. And I'm was, not I'm really not into good. animated flicks, yeah. nor superhero movies, and that yeah. shit was bomb. It was bomb. really good. It was really good. Really, really good. Oh, really was, worth it. Yeah. oh yeah, man. It so was, are those other movies, damn it. I'm big on my DCEU. When I was a kid, Jonas, I grew up on DC Comics, all right? I was a Superman, oh. Batman. I was a Green Lantern boy, Hawkman. I don't care. Anything DC, Plastic Man, Doom Patrol, all of that. I was big in the DC, and I was always like I didn't like Marvel. But also, growing up, I was the guy who was like, no, I don't like PlayStation. And then I was the guy who didn't like Xbox. And then now I'm coming around to it, man, where I just realized I have bad taste. And then you're all like PC Master Race. And now yeah, it, took me, it took me almost 30 years to get there. <laughs> so what do you want? I mean, yeah. Yeah, what do you want, man? What do you want? I'm, yeah. I'm getting there late, but I'm, I'm coming along with you, all right? I'm going to get a PlayStation. Are you? No. I was like, you just I bought a Switch. Why are you buying a PlayStation? I, know. I might. I'm not. What game you bought? Last of Us? Uh, there's so many good PlayStation IPs. Especially once I found out that a lot of the uh, Xbox games can just be played on PC. Like Starfield? Pfft, bro, that's getting up. That's a PC immediately. I am not playing that. That game looks so good. <laughs> It looks really good. I'm not playing that shit. It's a Bethesda game. You like Bethesda. Yeah, until I get OP and the game becomes not fun. That is what is circumvented through new IPs, Jonas. That was 15 years ago. That still happens. It happens in Borderlands, about bro. A, did it? Yeah, you, no. you do all the side missions, you get OP. Oh, well, then if I you're just... a completionist, they, they, they do not reward you for being a completionist. They make the game too easy if you're a completionist. There's always areas that you can go for when you're high level that gives you high level loot. Yeah, if but I don't place, want one percent of the game to be challenging. I want it all to be challenging. I feel like that if a game got 
scaled to your level that you would not feel fulfilled. You'd be like, this game is just as hard as it was the first day I picked it up, and that would be insane. There has to be there has to be a middle ground. There does have to be a middle ground. And I'm not a coder, and I don't know how to make that happen. And so. I feel like the middle ground is they give you areas where you can, uh, where you as a high level character, I was, like the same thing as in Diablo, which honestly I might I might pick that up uh, this weekend. We'll see. Um, but we haven't the, even started Breath of the Wild too. You're about I like to video it. games, all right? I want something. You know you can only play one at a time, right? I can play all of them. <laughs> you cannot stop me. <laughs> You're not, not wrong. wrong. <laughs> Let <laughs> no, me get two we, games that have a hundred hours to beat at the same no, time. And then, you gotta, gotta, <laughs> then you're in your life weaver skills are going to go down because you ain't going to practice. Don't it. even talk about my life weaver skills, Joe. I don't know if this if this has come out, but I got some life weaver videos that I'm actually going to be low. Blow oh shiz! All right, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Oh yeah.